wonder what's happening with the angles as my pinwheel rotates around a point. In this lesson, you will learn how to rotate a point using angle measures and distances. Let's review angles. For any given point in a plane, we can create an angle associated with that point. For this lesson, we will create angles using the origin as the vertex and the x-axis as the initial side. To measure distance, we notice that point A is two units up and one unit to the right from the origin. To find the angle measure, we'll create an angle using the origin and the x-axis. Then use a virtual protractor to measure. We find that it's 65 degrees. For point B, we'll also measure our distances in angle measure. Point B is one unit up and two units to the left from the origin. We'll create an angle using the origin and the x-axis, then use a virtual protractor to measure. We find that it's 155 degrees. I'm going to put the virtual protractor away at this point, and I want you to concentrate on the movement of the arc. You can see that the arc shows rotation around the origin. The degree measure of this angle is 245 degrees. Try performing these investigations yourself with an actual protractor. Notice that this rotation around the origin follows the curvy line going the long way around and that it goes almost all the way around, stopping at 335 degrees. If it, had, if it were to go all the way around, we would have 360 degrees, which would be a full circle worth of rotation. Now I want to rotate point A 90 degrees. Since I know that the angle formed with point A measured 65 degrees, adding 90 degrees will give me point B with an angle measure of 155 degrees. Let's draw that angle. Also notice that the angle between point A and B is 90 degrees. This angle shows how much we rotated. Let's take a look at how far these points are from the origin to see if we maintain distance. Point A is one unit right and two units up. Point B is two units left and one unit up. Even though these are in different directions, they're the same total distance. These two key points, angle measure and distance from the origin of rotation, define a rotation. If a point is the same distance from the origin as another point, but with a different angle measure. The second point is the image of the first point after a rotation. Now I want to rotate point A 180 degrees. Since I know the angle formed with point A measured 65 degrees, I'm going to add 180 degrees and that will give me point C with an angle measure of 245 degrees. Let's draw that angle. Also notice that the angle between point A and C is 180 degrees. That shows how much we rotated. Let's take a look at how far these points are from the origin. Point A is one unit right and two units up. Point C is one unit left and two units down. They're in different directions but the same total distance. Since it's the same distance from the origin but with a different angle measure, point C is the image of point A after a 180 degree rotation. Finally, I want to rotate point A 270 degrees. Once again, I know that the angle formed with point A measured 65 degrees, so I add 270 degrees and that gives me point D with an angle measure of 335 degrees. Let's draw that angle. Also notice that the angle between point A and D is 270 degrees. This angle shows how much we rotated. Let's take a look at how far these points are from the origin. Point A is one unit right and two units up. Point D is two units right and one unit down. Different direction, same distance. Since point D is the same distance from the origin but with a different angle measure, it represents the image of point A after a rotation. In this lesson, you have learned how to rotate a point by using angle measures and distances.